Today we're talking action figures, toys, collectibles. It's kind of my thing. There's a brand new company called Muff Toys and they put out an all new Daniel Craig 112th scale figure. I've got it. This is the top agent, but I don't just have one. Oh no, they put out two and I've got both of them. We're gonna compare the difference between the standard and the deluxe edition and go over all the details that you need to know so you can add one of these to your collection and stick around to the end because one of you is gonna end up with this guy going home with you. That's right, I'm gonna give this one away. It's completely sealed, we're not opening this one. You're gonna have a chance to win this, so stick around to the end to find out how you can walk away with your very own. Muff contacted me and I found out they were making the top agent about three or four months ago. Uh, they've been advertising it on their Instagram account. And if you're not following them, make sure you check that out because it's a beautiful page. They've got several figures they've been working on and who's to say they're not gonna continue on and do more of a Bond-esque kind of series. This one came out and when I saw the initial production pictures, and I'm gonna show those here, I was blown away because I knew this was a 112th scale, which means it's only about six, six and a quarter inches tall. Not a very big figure. When I saw these images, the paint job, the lightness, the sculpt, it looked like something you would see in a 12 inch or one six scale figure. And I'm like, okay, the production photos, they always look better than the real thing. You know, you get those doctored up, not the case, not the case at all. These are the real deal. So without further ado, let's go ahead and flip it over to the tabletop. Let's take a look at this. Okay guys, so right off the rip, you're gonna see the box is extremely premium. Uh, I've got several other 112th custom figures and they come in boxes equally as nice. Uh, they did not skip though. There's a lot of like holographic logos all over this thing, muff branding. Now you will notice that these figures are not actually sanctioned by Eon. So they're not gonna be able to say certain things or come out screaming, hey, James Bond official branded. These are unlicensed. Having said that, they they took some liberties, trust me. So when we open the box here, we can clearly see that we've got some paperwork starting off. And this actually kind of gives you some key points on uh, maintaining the paint as well as posing of the head because of the ball joint. Okay, and here we have the figure. It's packaged so nice. Let me get this clear kind of top cover off. And as you can see, there's a lot of accessories here. You get five additional hands that you can switch between. Uh, you're also gonna get a miniature Walther PPK. It is absolutely microscopic. I'm gonna put it next to a dime here, just so you can see the scale and the, <laughs> it actually has a removable magazine now the magazine that does come with the gun, you can put it in and out of the gun. I will tell you, it is a snug fit. Uh, this thing is, it's so small. I mean, it's not much bigger than a grain of rice, if that, it's probably about that big. So again, I'm gonna go back to use tweezers. Now the pistol also does come with a silencer. Given the fact that this is clearly Daniel Craig from Casino Royale, I don't know that I'm gonna attach the silencer when I display mine but you will, I mean, you do have that option. Now, because this is the deluxe edition, underneath the figure, you will see it includes a small metal stand. And with that stand on the bottom of it, if we flip it over, you're gonna see where they actually put Daniel Craig's signature on it. Now, this is printed. This is not actually signed by the actor. Obviously, that would be way more expensive than what these are going for. Uh, but it also has a little nameplate, and I told you they took some liberties. It says James Bond. So they're not really trying to hide it once you purchase it and open this package. They just can't advertise it on the outside of the box. The bottom of his feet has magnets in it. So he sticks to the stand really well, and you can balance him in quite a few different positions on this. Now, one of my favorite pieces is the little watch that comes with this. Guys, it's so small and the details are so fine. You can see the waves that you would see on the face of a real Omega. You can see the hands. You can even see the number markers. 
and they put a gloss sheen over the face of the watch to give it that reflective look as if it had crystal. Top notes. Great detail here, Muff. Good job, guys. This is this is a fantastic little subtle thing that they didn't have to do, and it, it's a great little touch. One of the things you're going to notice about this figure is the fabric, the fit and finish, all of it comes together. The head sculpt, we have to talk about that. Let's talk about the head sculpt. This is hands down the best head sculpt I have ever seen of Daniel Craig in any scale. It's easily him directly from Casino Royale. All of the rich colors and tones you're going to see in the skin, the hair they did a great job on, his ears, his his eyes, they actually put a gloss polish on his eyes to give them that more natural reflective appearance. I mean, it's just all around. Every little detail was given attention and love. <laughs> I mean, they really went all out here, guys. And you, it shows in the final product. Like I said earlier, I thought I was gonna be looking at the production photos and then get this and just kind of be like, you know, underwhelming, womp womp. It was gonna be one of those, okay, we, we got something, but it's, it's gonna look cheap and plasticky and whatever, I'm gonna throw it on the shelf and not think twice about it. I'm wrong. His skin tone all has a matte finish, even all the way down to the hands. The hands are finished in super amounts of detail. You can see like veins and tendons and there's a difference in the skin tone from the back of his hands to his fingers, to his ears, to his forehead, to his, the lines in his face. It's all there. Nothing was left to chance when it came to the paint and the fit and finish on this. Now, when we're talking about the clothing, I will say the jacket looks fantastic. You've got the lapels on the side of the dinner jacket and it's got that peak lapel versus the shawl lapel that he wore in other films. But in Casino, he had that, that peak point lapel and they, they nailed it, especially for the size. It almost looks like these were laser cut, uh, which would make sense given the size. Same with the shirt collar. The shirt collar is extremely rigid and stiff also, laser cut. The shirt looks fantastic. The bow tie is actually plastic, but they finished it in a satin finish to make it look almost like it's satin, like it's soft, It's, but it's not. Now, when we're talking about the jacket, the jacket actually has padding in the shoulders just because they went with uh, what's called a not a man body uh, or a not a, not a body. And I'll show an image of that here. And it's a industry kind of standard in figure customizations. Also included underneath the figure, they include some spare little buttons to go on like his shirt cuffs here, like the, the buttons that you'd see on the dinner jacket, as well as the center button. And that center button on the coat, one cool thing, it's magnetic. I'm so happy to have this in my collection. He's so cool. I, this is a perfect size scale. And here's a fun thing too. If you have the No Time to Die motorcycle from Corgi, it's the same size. So he could actually get on that motorcycle. Now, I know it's not gonna be the same costume, but who's to say they don't make that costume in this size down the road? So keep an eye out for that. But as I promised you before, one of you is gonna go home with your very own standard edition. Now, the only difference between the standard and the del deluxe edition is the stand, that's it. Uh, they don't put magnets in the bottom of his feet like on this one. Um, so that's really the only difference. Aside from that, the standard edition is the figure with all of the accessories. And I know what you're thinking. Okay, Chris, that's great and all, but how do I win? It's actually really easy. There's only a couple steps. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe to me on YouTube, comment below what is your favorite Daniel Craig moment in his entire tenure. Could be from any one of his movies. Let me know what your favorite Craig moment is. If it's awesome, I'm gonna choose you. You got 14 days, that's two weeks before I announce the winner. So comment below, let me know your favorite Daniel Craig moment, 
And if I think it's awesome, I'm gonna choose you and you're gonna get this guy shipped out for free to add to your collection. And if you would like to support the channel, please consider checking out my merch store. I've got several designs that I've completely designed myself, including the Kill Bond Meow shirt featuring Blofeld's cat. I've got a From Russia With Love sick shirt. I've got the Baja shirt from Diamonds Are Forever. I've got a Live and Let Die shirt paying homage to Teehee. That is the best way to support the channel and I really appreciate everyone who has purchased the shirt thus far. Okay, like I said, two weeks until I announce the winner. So get to commenting, let me know your favorite Daniel Craig moment. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as follow me on Instagram. And as always, Merry Christmas 007.